Georgia 16 and Kentucky 6. This one was only surprising in that it was only a 10-point margin, but this is how Kirby Smart would like to play, right? Um, we'll roll through the, the game-ending stuff. Georgia ran the ball 46 times for 5.4 yards per rush. Uh, they only threw it 19 times. Stetson was uh, was 13 out of 19 in this game. Uh, both teams had one turnover. Uh, Georgia got into the Kentucky red zone in their first three drives. They had to settle for field goals. Uh, when they like they threw a pick, they were up 9, uh, nine to nothing on the first drive of the second half, and it kind of started to remind you of the Missouri game a little bit because they weren't putting Kentucky away and if Kentucky had been able to do just about anything after that interception then yeah that that would have been something but they they went three and out and immediately Georgia comes back down the field and they score a touchdown it's 16 to nothing and there's no way that Kentucky was scoring 16 points now I say that and at the same time Georgia comes back down the field again after another three and out from Kentucky and Georgia uh goes for it on the Kentucky won. They, they, so they had first and goal at the eight, second and goal at the five, third and goal at the one, and then fourth and goal at the one. And which, by the way, I, I can't believe that Milton played, but I guess it is what it is. It, Kentucky never capitalized. Like Kentucky didn't score a touchdown until there was less than ten minutes left in the game. Uh, they missed a thirty-eight yard field goal with like four minutes left in the game. This was. Kentucky never had a shot in this one. And Georgia basically just sat on them. They they got a big enough lead. Uh, I mean, you got a two-score lead. <laughs> Bennett's pick was an awful throw. Here's the here's my thought on that pick, right? I think that that one was actually on McConkey. Like I think that I think it was the wrong route. And but it's gonna look bad for Stetson, right? Now Stetson still has to be aware, but if this is based on timing and where you expect the receiver to be, uh, we'll see. Like I, that's, I think that there's more blame to go around than just Bennett threw a bad ball. Um, but regardless, regardless, he did throw the he did throw the pick. I, I don't think that Georgia cares about anything until they get to Atlanta. I, and, and by Atlanta, I don't mean <laughs> Georgia Tech. I mean they don't care about anything until they get to the LSU game, and then they'll be fired up to play again. And we'll see their wrath the same way that you saw it against him. They they will they'll do. Crazy thing. Um, Scotty said, "Yeah, it was double coverage. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Like, uh, we'll see, we'll see. But I, I don't think that I don't think Bennett's bad. I'll just say that. I think it was just a, uh, it was not a great spot." Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.